Hi, is this Pre? Yes, I'm Excellent, excellent. Um, I got your call um, and you, you needed some help there, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. You're so welcome. Cool. And what, which city are you in? Oh, cool. Yeah, I know that area very well. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I drive through it pretty much daily. And, and what, what, what category are you driving in? Uh, I'm driving Uber SUV, sir. Oh, Uber SUV. And, yeah. and you just, just started, right? Yeah, just started doing that, but I'm really unsuccessful. Okay. I'm just okay. trying to get out of the way. I don't really care what it does, but I'm looking for you, Okay. Okay, so I mean, it's not a reason to stress out yet. You obviously yeah. just, just started a new category. But um, can I ask you what other category, what car is it? Uh, what car? It's a Chevrolet Yukon Corvette, Chevy Suburban. Chevy Suburban, okay. Yeah. Cool. And then, um, did you, what categories did you join? So for the SUV, what, what categories did they put you in? They put you in SUV, what else? Okay, okay, yeah, that's the problem. You, you need to get into Uber Black as well, and you have to keep on pushing them and keep on asking support that they get you into Uber Black, okay? Oh, you do? Okay. And then the other category uh, you could ask, and, and you will be busy, is XL, Uber XL, okay? Um, I, I have some of my cars in, in all three, in SUV, black and XL. Now here's the thing, when a person, a passenger who orders a vehicle and they look at the screen and they see, okay, I want to order an Uber SUV, right? Um, I see there, yes, there's one very close to me. But if they, if they really know what they're doing and they want to save money, they move that little, they move their finger on the screen over to XL. Now, if the same car shows up as XL and SUV, guess what? They are ordering an XL because they want a cheaper price. So this is, this is what's happening in a lot of cities is that because the guys are now in XL and SUV, you more or less are forced to be in XL as well. Otherwise, you're missing out on all those trips. You, you know what I mean? So, so they, you know, they know that they order XL, but they know they're going to get an SUV because they can see on their screen it's the same car in the same location. Makes sense, right? So that's why that's why it's crucial that you get into the XL category as well. Now. In LA, you're going to be very, very busy with XL, but there are also 70 to 80% of the passengers that don't know that trick, okay? And they will order SUV and they will order black. Now, now you know, I, I can gladly meet with you next week, but what I can tell you is you need to go on all the websites, the Forum, the Rose Bowl, the Staples Center, the Greek Theater, the Amphitheater, all those big venues, and they, they're massive, they can take 10 to 60,000 people, right? You need to see what their schedule is, like what the events are. So you know what's going on Monday to Monday in Los Angeles. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's, that's one way you can definitely stay busy in the evenings. Now, when it comes to LAX pickup, you, you, you have a permit, right? Well, you, you got the you got the LAX permit. Okay, so you you you, you can go to the LA uh, airport pickup zone, and you know you know where it is. And if, if you don't, you can look it up. You can look it up online. And um, the main the main thing is that you really pay attention to what's happening there because there's been a lot of complaints um, about people that are being kicked out of the system, and that other drivers uh, are being giving preferential service like there's a group of people that are always there and they never get kicked out so there's something going on at LAX but just go there get in the queuing system 
and 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 if they should kick you out of the queuing system um please tell please contact me because I, i've had about 15 people share the same story okay so the the the, ba the, the thing is if you are in the queuing sy system you will get the call to lax and then you know you communicate with the the passenger and then you go to arrivals because that's where you pick them up um, suv goes to arrivals and you've got you've got your permit in the window and then you just make sure you know at terminal one two three four five six seven or terminal b international and um you 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 know you ask the guy hey what are you wearing are you wearing you know can you tell me i would like what top or jeans you know so i can recognize you and usually you see them there they're waving they recognize you take them so lax is a good way to make money but you you spend a lot of time waiting for the passenger you know i like areas like malibu on the weekend like out there by nobu restaurant all the way out on pch okay um on, on fridays saturdays especially early evenings get a nice big trip in there uh, or you know and then you head over to one of the venues the big venues for a concert or something so you you can you can you can produce some big friday and saturday nights no doubt right um, in the morning it really pays out being in these areas like you know calabasas hidden hills malibu early in the morning and getting a nice long trip through to downtown or la and you know it, it always happens it's just a matter of waiting otherwise you know during the day midday beverly hills is very very good the bel air hotel is always very busy down in bel air bel air hotel um you know and you just have to get to know all your high-end neighborhoods where people will pay that type of money for that type of car yeah. right pacific palisades brentwood santa monica beverly hills Bel Air, malibu palos verdes you know th these are big trips and so yeah i i, I would um, go a little bit further out calabasas you know malibu and then and, and get the big fish like yeah. and so yeah i mean there's no there's no reason you should be making the numbers that I'm making every single day, you know? Yeah, yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you, you're welcome. So it, it, it sounds like one of your challenges is, you know, just not being busy enough. I think XL is going to help you a lot. Yeah. You know, try that out. And then really uh, start working the neighborhoods and the venues. You know, and I also promote myself. So I, you know, I get business cards out. I promote the long trips. Call me, I'll take you on a long trip if you need, you know? Um, do I put it through Uber? Yes, I put it through Uber. The, the long ones, yeah, I just promote it. I give them a business card with my picture so they can see who I am. You know, they can remember me. And um, so yeah, try out a few things in the first week. Don't, don't be too s stressed out. As long as you cover those costs for the first week, you know, I mean, I always say it's like your education week, you know, you have two weeks of education and then you start, you start figuring. But you know, if you, if you have any specific questions, you know, you can always reach out to me. I'm just very, very busy. I get about 50 to 80 texts and phone calls per day. So I try to get back to everyone, you know? Yeah? Cool. Is there any like any other specific question you have, Pri? Perfect. I, I really appreciate it. Okay. You can always call me again. Thanks, buddy. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye. So you know this 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 gentleman uh, just started in LA, fresh, fresh, fresh in SUV, and you know he comes from UberX. A big difference and and you know what it's going to slow down and people panic oh my god why did i sign up with this you know you just have to confidently go out there cover your costs for the two weeks educate yourself educate yourself about your market and you'll just be making more and more money if you do not stress out you know in the first two weeks if you know that's when a lot of people call me they they, they stress out and you basically just have to guide them through that difficult period they thank you afterwards a few months later they're smiling i'll guarantee you this guy in no time will know when where surges events and it goes for any city i just gave you an example of los angeles it goes for any city out there it's just a formula ladies and gentlemen no need to panic on the titanic cheers bye-bye